Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's had a great Christmas and a, a great new year. We are now in 2024 and today's video is going to be on XRP. Um, our last major market update on XRP was a real comprehensive update on XRP. I think it was up, to, up around 60, 70 cents and we really outlined why that 50 cent level was the key psychological level and why the market makers will probably want to hit that level to take out a lot of the stop losses placed as people was getting bored in the market late leveraged longs was coming into the market we've seen it happen with bitcoin we've seen it happen with other altcoins and now we've seen it happen with xrp as we dipped down exactly to that 50 cent target so we'll go through a couple of different things on the price action as to what we've seen and what we can be expecting for xrp over the coming months do i think the bottom's in do i think major higher targets are next let's take a look in depth as to what we can be expecting for xrp and if you do want to go check out that video from last month on xrp just just go ahead um it was the latest video on xrp outlining why 50 cent was the key price going through the market maker psychology and in this video we really delve into the the late longs in the market where them potential stop losses could be and why 50 cent level was the key level but nevertheless let's jump into the current price action for xrp on the daily time frame you can see we was at the range highs up in november december really talking about why that 50 cent level was the key level we've dropped down 50 cent 48 on here on uh, binance um, maybe some went under maybe some a little bit higher but you get the idea the idea was that you know people are getting a bit bored in the market people are, are expecting this key level here at the top of this wick to be the key level that holds um, and that brings a lot of people into the market, especially when you see dips and dips and wicks like this. We know wicks induce a, a bit of psychology in the market. We know that people see these wicks, one bounce, two bounce, three bounces. Now everyone jumps into a long. What does the market do? <laughs> it absolutely sends it to the downside. It was quite a comprehensive drop. Let's take a look at, you know, if we're talking from the 70 cents level where people are potentially entering breakout trades, a big drop, a 20-30% drop, and we've talked about this over over the months comprehensively about these 20-30% drops that happen in the altcoin market. And as you can see, we got exactly that, and it's what we wanted to see, that 50 cent level. So if anyone was in the market potentially looking at placing limit orders um, for XRP at that 50, 49, 48, 51 cent level, you're already in a massive gain now um so that's the importance of potentially looking at limit buys and limit sells in the market it, it comprehensively keeps you psychologically stable knowing you've got them limit buys there because you know when when the price does dump down like this you don't often get too much of a chance in that day to to really buy at that level and then you know when the market makers are bringing in these big red candles because it didn't look like a wick at the time it was a massive red candle of course people start to short the market thinking these levels are going to get taken out but you know where did we come back to big bullish candle big bullish break candle here right in that zone what we always look for and we did have the negative fibonacci on that last video outlining and around that 48 cent level so we didn't quite make the lower bound region but 50 cent level was the key psychological region we could definitely over the coming weeks fill this wick no doubt about it maybe this is not a true test and then we go in for a fill of the wick um, and hit that 48 cent level so i'm not saying it's off the table um but in reality we've got everything we wanted to see now for xrp we was not bullish up here we was calling for that 50 cent now we've hit that 50 cent people want to be a bit bearish saying whoa whoa where are we going next are we going lower and no, I'm now looking to the upside for XRP, as always, doing the opposite of the majority, because um, no one ever wants to do what they, <laughs> what most people are not doing. So let's take a look at XRP right now. And we've already got one key level on this chart right now with a big bearish candle, big bearish break candle here. Right there, that's going to be a key zone for us to for XRP. We expect this zone to at least be tapped, even if we was to go to zero, like some people are calling for now. This zone is undoubtedly going to be tapped. We've got a big bearish candle here. We've got a lot of liquidity building up in this level. Many people will have been saying, oh, you know, it's a triangle. We're going to go break eyes. And that's where shape traders potentially have been entering the longs here. And that's why they've been liquidated. Many people liquidated in one candle. I'm not sure on what the total liquidations were in the market. There was a lot on Bitcoin. There was a lot on Ethereum. And there was a lot in the market overall. So let's take a look now at what wicks like this have induced in the past for XRP. 
big massive drop here for XRP, breaking loads of lows. Um, big wick there. Did we just shoot to the upside after that? No, we didn't. We we actually went in for a comprehensive fill of that wick. We didn't go down all the way to the bottom, but let's just take the Fibonacci from the bottom of that wick to where the candle body closed. And it's, have a look at that 702, 786 level. So let's do the same here for XRP. Right at the bottom there to the top, that 78, 7, 702 level is going to be around that 52 cent region. So if we was to see price come back down to this level over the coming days and weeks, that could potentially be a bounce zone for XRP to work its way back to this key level that we're looking for. And on the lower time frame, that could potentially be a, a lower time frame, 20% scalp, which using leverage potentially could be 200, 2000% if you're, if you're a bit of a risky scalp lower time frame player for XRP. So let's take a zoom out onto the weekly time frame and just get a better idea of what's going on on the higher time frame here for XRP. Over them years and over them months down here in June 2022, heading into 2023, I spent so long outlining this exact fractal that we got playing out to the upside with a target of around 90 to $1. Um, and that's exactly what we got. And there's a reason as to why we took a little bit of profit up at this level. It's because we was expecting that major correction back down. And now we was expecting around that 50 cent region, but you know, it went down even further. It went down to 44, 43 cent for a massive 53% decline. And the recent pump and dump has that down now totally to around 40% to the downside. That's exactly what we're saying. You know, we outlined this fractal back in November 2022, just saying, you know, we're expecting that that pump to the upside. What what price was we at there? Let's take a look at this. Was that around 30 cents at this level? You know, sort of saying this is the buy zone for XRP. Stall out at around 50 cent and really head up to that 90 to $1 region there and then getting that pull back to around 52 cent, which is, you know, we've already got that. So thinking about XRP now on the higher time frame, we are right in the middle of the two zones that we've outlined in our previous analysis over the last two years. That 30 cents region and that 90 cents region were right in the middle and we're working in ranges within higher ranges. So when you're looking at trading this and you're looking at really trying to capitalize on the on the lower time frame moves, the risk to reward is not as good as it was down here to potentially enter long or spot bids. And the risk to reward to sell is not as good as it was up here when we was looking to take profit around that 90 cents $1 region. So we're in a bit of a no man's land and it's always important in the market to be able to recognize when you are in no man's land because you don't want to be rushing into positions thinking, I need to get in, I need to get out. It's the worst psychology that you can have in the market. We're in the middle of a bigger zone. We're in the middle of a smaller zone. We're in an even smaller zone right now. We are at the middle of the smallest zone that we're in. So it really is, in my opinion, no man's land. Yeah, you could see it as the, the retest. You could see it as the retest of break of resistance. And, you know, we've just come back to support. And I personally do believe that's what it is. But the risk to re reward right now as to, as to what it was down here, it's not as good. Take a look at what price percentage we are still up from them levels. Still up nearly nearly 100% from them levels. Do I want to be buying up here? Even though I've taken profit up here, a little bit of profit, do I really want to put them profits back into the market? I mean, I could, but psychologically having them profits available there just sat for even worse times in the market. I think that is a better move to make, especially the way I like to play the market. Everyone has a different play in the market. Everyone has a different psychology. So the things I like to do, maybe not not for other people, but that's why I run the Patreon. That's why I run my group to show people what I do and why I think the way I do. And, you know, a lot of people are benefiting from it. So let's just jump into a higher time frame picture here for XRP. Realistically, I do believe XRP is going to be hitting up and around them $1.70 regions, up and around these wicks, because on the higher time frame, monthly candles, that's where the monthly candle closes were, and that's where we retrace to back in the market um, from the last cycle. So I do believe that $1.70 region is the region we're looking at to really take a, a next major profit take. Of course, you're going to have intermediate levels within that range, like the mid level at that point, you know, $1.20, $1.30, the next take profit zone. And that $1.70 region is a real key level. Um, but obviously, taking a zoomed out perspective, XRP can and possibly may go higher. We don't want to be selling everything in the market. We don't want to be leaving ourselves to thinking, oh, no, I've sold some up here and I've sold all my XRP. And XRP smashes to $5, $6, $7.
maybe even higher. Um, it's an absolute potential. You know, them targets have been seen a lot in crypto where all-time highs are broken and, you know, we go out for Fibonacci extensions, 7 8 9 10 11 dollars Absolutely. That's why I'll be saving quite a bit of XRP for that, that key level to be able to take more profit. But these intermediate levels that we're looking at on the lower time frame, it's just good to be able to analyze and really analyze when we're expecting pullbacks, when we're expecting pumps and pullbacks, just so we can stay neutral, stay psychologically stable in the market, and we can be expecting what we can be expecting and what we're analyzing. So really on the lower time frame, I think the next move for XRP is going to be some chop around this level, potentially fill some of that wick and move back to that higher range, 60, 70 dollar, 60, 70 cents region. I wish it was dollars, not going to lie, but just taking an even more zoomed out perspective here on the monthly time frame, you can see this area on the monthly time frame is the key area of demand and resistance on the higher time frame. Of course, you get manipulations above and below, but this is the zone where big moves and big key moves are care from. We've broke out, we've retested it, we've had the, the manipulation. Potentially we get some more with them lower time frame levels that we've got. But your higher time frame key levels here on the monthly time frame for me are going to be the blue zones here on them 43, 44 to 50 cent region. And them higher levels $1.50 up to that $1.70 region. I do believe the higher time frame targets of $1.60, $1.70 are next for XRP. XRP moves fast, we all know it. It moves often last, so many people get impatient with it. We see we saw what happened with XRP before that previous pump back in 2017, you got a very similar thing. You got a big wick to the downside before that. Is that a liquid? Could we potentially be expecting something like that again to manipulate these levels before shooting to the upside? This is the reason as to why I always have a bit of profit taken from them higher key levels that I'm not putting back into the market and I prepare for absolutely dire situations where people are panicking so much. That's why I don't put the money back in straight away. I only wait for them major, absolutely massive corrections on the higher time frame of potential patterns that we've seen in the past happen, like in 2017-18. So, you know, it's not a scenario I'm expecting, but it's a scenario I'm prepared for because we was able to benefit from that pump there using our analysis back in 2022. So... A quick word, guys, if you do want to go onto my Patreon, I know it's sold out in a minute, so there is a waiting list, but just send me a message on Twitter um, and just add yourself to the waiting list if you are interested and want to see my exit plans and entry plans and the way I do things going through the psychology of the market, then that's up to you. If you want to join, join. If you don't, absolutely no problem. Just continue watching the YouTube videos and the analysis on Twitter. Um, and I've just partnered today with Bing X as well, so if you want to go onto my Twitter, um, there is a link on there where people can get a $100 bonus, trading bonus, with no deposit needed just by using my referral links. I thought it's an absolute no-brainer. I'm not making people put money onto an exchange or anything like that. No-brainer to me. So if you want to do that, go over to my Twitter um, and just, just see what I've posted today. And you can see um, the potential <laughs> $100 bonus for absolutely nothing. So, yeah, guys, of course, it's not financial advice from me. Just a comprehensive update here on XRP. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did. Give the video a like if you didn't don't no problem of course any comments subscriptions always appreciated just sit back relax and let the market do the work and i'll see you next time cheers guys